Okay, so we got uh, motherboard, power supply, CD drive, and hard drive installed. Uh, now we're going to install the case fans. Uh, these ones come with metal uh, brackets over the fan themselves. Uh, if you look on the side of the fan, you probably won't be able to see it with the camera, but there's little arrows uh, that indicate the direction of the airflow and the motion or the, uh, the circular motion in which the fan turns so you know which way to face it for which way you want the airflow. So we're going to put two on the top so you want to make sure that it's blowing up, which is usually the back side that blows up. So, yes. And these are going to connect uh, directly to the motherboard from the three pin. So I'm going to face the uh, then where the wire comes out towards the motherboard itself so I have a little bit more room instead of having it the other way and going around. Once you get it placed in, you'll see right on the top of the case there's usually going to be holes right for it preset. Top mounted ones, I usually get two started opposite corners. That way you can kind of let go of it and have two free hands to work with. That's where the magnetic screwdriver comes in handy again. Once you get them started, you'll feel it. Catch, let go and let it screw itself in. And again, it's plastic, so you don't want to over tighten it just so it's nice and snug. Sorry, the camera shaking. I can see it on the table. Okay, so that's how those are going to get installed. I'll install the other one, and then we'll uh, get to the one on the front bezel. Okay, so for the front bezel of the case, uh, all you really have to do is just give it a nice little pull, and the bezel will pop off the front here. doing this there are cables that hook up for the front of the case on the side here so just be careful that you feed these through as you're taking the front bezel off These are all the, uh, the front LEDs, power, reset, and all that stuff. And we'll hook these up in a couple minutes. Okay, 
Okay, now for the front fan, uh, the screws go through where this mounting plate is. So we actually have to take off the front guard on this one. So you won't really see it anyways just because the, the bezel is going to be in front of it so it doesn't really matter. But it takes longer screws to go all the way through the holes and then into the back. The front one here set up as an air intake, so this will help bring cool air into the case. This is our front fan here. We'll go down to system fan four. And you can only put these in one one way. There's uh, two little uh, protruding pieces on the side that fit around the little knob here. So can't really screw that up. This is going to get hooked up to our other system fan. The top one. And then the other top one is going to go to system fan 3.
Okay, so the, those fans are hooked up. So we have the front one, air intake. The two top ones are going to be blowing out along with this one. And then the power supply as well. So that's one, two, three, four, five. And then the side one is an intake as well on the window here. So should have plenty of airflow in the case. Okay, so from here we're going to hook up all the front panel stuff. Now, these really aren't that hard. It's a lot of wires and stuff, but it really isn't that hard. Um, anything, just refer to your manual for your motherboard. It'll walk you through the jumper positions, where each one goes, how they go, positive, negatives, your power reset, uh, hard drive LED lights, things like that. So we're going to go through and hook those up. And then uh, you also have your uh, USB 2.0, HD audio, uh, eSATA, things like that. Let's see what we got here. HD audio. Most of them have like a missing pin on them, and that's just an indication of uh, trying to tell you which way that it should go. So we can only go one of two ways. So okay, I'm gonna get the uh, the front power reset LED hooked up, and then uh, we'll continue from there. 